What's going on guys, Envy, and today I'm bringing you my final Call of Duty Black Ops commentary. Uh, this is just going to be, you know, I'm going to sum up my year of Black Ops before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Okay, if I had to describe this game in one word, one word I would, I, I, I'd say awesome. I mean, this was truly an awesome game. I love this game. The only things I didn't like about it was Ghost, just for the fact it was overused. Too many people, uh, I feel like, you know, there's too many people use that. And, uh, but, it, it, that, before I get any further, this is a domination gameplay on Stockpile. It's like a 56 and 4, 56 and 6, something like that. But, okay, I'm, I don't think I would ever, you know, truly get tired of Black Ops. I get frustrated at it, frustrated with it at times, yes. But this is just, in my opinion, this is one of the best Black Ops, best Call of Duties that Treyarch or Infinity War or any of them has ever made just for the fact it was really fun it you know it kept me entertained and it's really hard to keep me entertained to be honest like I mean I, I'm I'm ADD and for something to keep my attention for a long period of time it has it has to be pretty good uh, when Black Ops first came out you know uh, I was actually one of the lucky ones that didn't pre-order and I went to buy the next day and you know they went out of stock um, what happened was my brother actually pre-ordered it for me on my uh, for my birthday, which is in July. So I had to wait four month, three or four months to get my birthday present for, from him. So anyway, what he did, he took my copy and he just you know gave me sixty bucks because he didn't pre-order his either, and he pre-ordered the one that's like an hour away from my house. Like the game's almost like an hour away from my house. So he lived closer to that one, so he's like, listen, I'll just give you sixty bucks. Or Saturday, and uh, you just go buy, you know, at whatever GameStop's closer to you. I was like, okay, whatever, you know, that's cool. So, uh, so the next day after it came out, I went to GameStop, you know, and they, I asked my brother, I was like, hey, you know, I don't have to pre order this or anything, they have it in stock. He's like, nah, man, I called them, you know, uh, they'll, they'll have it in stock, you know, they said they're not sold out. So I go into a uh, GameStop, not pre-ordering this now. I, I definitely should have pre-ordered this, but I didn't because my brother actually pre-ordered it for me. But then he kind of took my pre-ordered copy. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, I walk in the GameStop and I was like, "Yeah, man, I hit black by Black Ops." He's like, "You have a pre-order?" And I was like, "Nah, my brother said I didn't need one." He's like, uh, "Well, that's stupid. You definitely need a one. This was one of the most you know." Uh, pre-ordered games in history, you know, you definitely needed a pre-order, so I was like, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna be really ticked if I can't get this game, because all my friends are gonna be playing this, and everything, I really want this game, so, <laughs> he was like, alright dude, let me go in the back, you know, see if I can find, at least, you know, one copy I can give to you, so he goes in the back, and then he pulls out this box of, like, 50, and puts them on the table, and he's like, hey, I found this box, and I was like, um, Okay, I didn't think you had any left, and he's like, yeah, man, I found this whole box and thing. I was like, okay, whatever, you know, I'll buy a copy, I'm gonna take it home and all that. And, uh, so that, that's how I got Black Ops, and, uh, but this, this is, I can't stress enough to you guys, this is an awesome game. A lot of people hated this game, just for the fact that it, you know, Ghost, Moss, same for you, you know, all that. I mean, I'm not gonna go complain about this since Black Ops is almost over. Uh, this, this has been an awesome game, it's been an awesome year, I've met some really cool people on uh, Black Ops. I've met uh, Friday, I've met Chris, I've met Touche, you know, all them. Like, all the people I normally play with and all that, I've met, you know, on Black Ops. And, uh, this, this, this game has a lot of memories for me. I remember the first time I went to a wager match, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was getting into, I didn't know how to do anything, I didn't know what anything was, because I didn't know research on it whatsoever. Like, I went to this game completely blind. And, uh, it, apparently, you know, it worked out pretty good, because, you know, I mean, a 15th prestige now, finally maxed out, um, with, like, a 2.16 kill-death ratio, not the best, I know, I never claimed to be the best, but, uh, I'm throwing this video up on Wednesday, which is actually the day I'm actually recording this today, I will be throwing this up on Wednesday, um, Friday I'll have a, my last gun game, knife only reactions, and Saturday, I will be releasing my. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw up the gun game on Monday, the day before Black, the day before Modern Warfare 3, and Saturday I'll be throwing up my final 
of Call of Duty Black Ops montage. This is, it's kind of like a montage, I guess you'd say. It's a Dolphin Dive and Tomahawk montage. Uh, you know, we just got a, you know, a bunch of kill cams and uh, pretty cool kill cams actually. While uh, Dolphin Diving and Claymore, I mean, Claymore, where did I get that from? And uh, Tomahawk and all that. And uh, for those of you that don't know, you can actually Dolphin Dive while you Tomahawk or Tomahawk while you Dolphin Dive. Whatever, you know, there's tutorials on on YouTube, whatever, just look it up. But for those of you that didn't know that, you can actually do that, and that's what this uh, whole montage is. That's nothing but, you know, Dolphin Dive, uh, Tomahawks, and all that. And uh, it's kind of more like, I don't know if you'd say, it's like a montage and like fontage mixed together or whatever. I mean, I don't really know what you would call that, but like, I'm over here talking with my hands, like waving them back and forth, trying to describe stuff. And uh, <laughs> I'm just like talking with my hands right now, and y'all can't even see it, so whatever. But... The, you know, anyways, this, that, will, that will be going up on Saturday, during the day, um, and then the gun game knife only uh, will be going up on Monday, and I will be at the midnight release of Modern Warfare 3, and I'm so ready for that game, I'm ready for something new, um, I'm just kind of getting a little bored out of Black, Black Ops, not really tired of it, just kind of, I need something new, you know, to keep my attention, because this game, I've been playing this game for a uh, little a year or a little over now and uh it's just kind of it's kind of wearing you know wearing out but in all honesty i have really low expectations for Modern Warfare 3 i don't really expect it to be a good game um i've read a lot of stuff about tell you what assassin is gonna be a pain that's that's perks gonna suck i'm gonna hate it um but i mean people's gonna use it and i'll probably use, I'll, in all honesty i'll probably use it you know for the first prestige or two just for the fact that you know, everybody's gonna be running them UAVs and all that. So, anyways, you guys, that's been my year of Black Ops. I'm out. This is my final Call of Duty Black Ops montage. I'll see you guys in Modern Warfare 3, and I will be posting my first Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. It will be a live com. So, uh, yeah, you guys. Anyways, this year's been awesome. Thank you guys, and I'm out. Peace.